Warm days lead to cold nights this time of year. 22 News reporter Kate Walsh spent the morning with a farmer as he assessed the damage from the first hard frost of the season. We figure if we make it to Columbus Day, um, that's a good season. A cornucopia of pumpkins, gourds, acorn squash, and butternut squash at Meadowbrook Farm stand in East Longmeadow meant one thing. The harvest, for the most part, is over. The first hard frost of the season Monday night killed soft crops. 22 News was there as farmer John Burney inspected the damage to his peppers, tomatoes, and some squash Tuesday morning. Actually, it's been a bonus the last several years. The falls have been getting nicer. Uh, we used to have to figure about the, the end of September. And so I would say the season's getting extended a good 10 days to two weeks. Uh, over the last several years. The crops in the fields may not survive a hard frost, but plants like mums, asters, and pumpkins can survive a bit longer. If a cold night is expected, farmers will cover all of those plants with these cloths. An end to the harvest for a particular crop means an end to getting it from local sources at the market. One woman was stocking up on local squash while it lasted. I think it's quite important. You want to support local businesses, um, get a fresher product. Several local crops are still being harvested and will still be available at the market. And your plants at home could last for weeks as long as you protect them from the cold nights, which are becoming much more common now. In East Longmeadow, Kate Walsh, 22 News.